We plan to launch the token at a 222 price or higher. Um, as you will see today, the ecosystem will <laughs> will grow <laughs> significantly. Uh, but we still think that we want to let uh, people in at a very at a very low price. <coughs> what we plan to keep achieving all of this growth is to use our formula of real screens, augmented reality screens, and, and, and apps. And that's a formula that has worked pretty well for us so far. But when you see this formula in, in, in operation, in action, it's, it's really going to be quite, quite amazing because nothing can prepare you for what we are going to, to announce now. So we are minting a Genesis planet. Um, I know that you are all familiar with the term Genesis block, which is the first block that you mint in a blockchain and, and it defines the rules of the blockchain. When you are minting a metaverse or uh, an ARverse, which is our case, you are basically minting a bunch of um, GPS locations and you are minting a lot of um, um, geofences and, and we call that a Genesis Planet. So our Genesis Planet comes from OpenMap. We have connected to OpenMap. We have extracted all of its data. Um, we have close to a billion places in in our database right now so out of those uh, billion places we have selected the top 25 million and we have converted those 25 million places into um, into virtual um, screens into virtual billboards um, as you can see the platform is now showing that we have slightly over 25 million real plus virtual screens. Having said that, as you might have already figured out, the real screens obviously bring more money and, and command more attention than the, than the virtual screens. The thing with the virtual screens is that they are more targeted. And, and we will see that in a little bit in, in, the, in the design of the whole platform. So with these 25 million screens, um, we, we have become one of the first truly global billboard networks um, and, and the largest billboard network on the planet with a caveat. That caveat, of course, is that we are actually the largest virtual billboard network on, on the planet. Um, and then the screens are not owned by Bitfari, but we plan to give these screens away to you. So that's 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 like one of the big biggest announcements of of the day. The foundation is really not interested in, in keeping these screens and managing them. Um, what we wanna do is do um, probably probably the, the largest um, the largest um, profit sharing campaign <laughs> in the planet, to be honest, or one of the largest um, profit sharing campaigns in, in the planet. When people ask me how many um, how many associates are, are we ambition joining the platform, I, I just tell them millions, you know, millions of affiliates, millions of auditors, millions of, of users, hopefully billions of users, and and obviously millions of, of billboard operators. So again, this is this is really uh, we're gonna we're gonna share something very impressive to the today. So the the amount of money locked into this virtual land, which we call digital land, uh, it's over, slightly over, 2.5 billion dollars, um, and we are practically giving all of that away. Uh, what we're gonna do is that we are going to mint, uh, lazily mint these NFTs, and then put them on a catalog, and then you will be able to buy buildings and lands uh, from a price that will be for most locations between five to two hundred dollars um, so just to give you an example you might be able to purchase a building for twenty dollars so after you purchase this building that well which has been uh, virtualized in, in bitfari you'll get an nft and that nft will entitle you to a big slice of the profit in most cases 
fifty percent of the profits of 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 the ads that are placed on that on the on that place. So it's a very very exciting uh, proposition. So let me show you a demo of Genesis. Um, what you have here it's a a three D augmented reality billboard, and we can over overlay this if you're using your glasses. We can obviously overlay this if, if you're using your, your phone uh, and it works in three dimensions. So you can be positioned anywhere and, and you can see this billboard with, with your glasses as, I as if it were a real um, billboard. <coughs> Additionally, we can move forward and I can show you, I can show you, I'm going to show you a real one in a, a billboard with a, with an ad with an actual ad um the the price is going to be cheaper 90% cheaper than real ads but the cost per click is going to be the same um it's obviously it's obviously activated for translations for for context matching uh it's on and operated by the NFT holder meaning you uh on means uh, you get the profits you get like the ad income from it um Operated means that you will perform some activities that will help increase the quality of the information displayed on the billboard, meaning um, the finalization of an ad approval if, if the ad approval process was contentious uh, amongst um, auditors. Um, you will get to choose different ads. You will get to set some rules for the billboards to, to, to get better ads. Um, maybe some curation activities. What happens with these billboards and, and the model that we have created is that <coughs> if there's a demolition of a building, no other process than the Bitfari process works for that because if there's a demolition, then you as a, as a um, virtual um, billboard owner, you can go to a um, facility that we have created trade that billboard in for another billboard in a different area and then we can do rezoning of the area so no other platform can do that which is why most of the platforms have been uh, they are like a metaverse and that is algorithmically created um, we just take the overlay we, we create an overlay uh, uh, on top of, of the of the planet and then we we create an AR um, layer on top of it um, and we just show you give you real space right so so in that in that sense it's uh, it's it's more exciting and it's more profitable as you as you will see um later in the presentation um now let me show you a real ad so this is how it will look w with an ad placed on it so as you can see it's it's fully 3d uh, it, it looks real it looks very nice um so yeah, a lot of visibility from, from any angle. And this is something that you can deploy in any metaverse. So we are going to do some connections to multiple metaverses so that you can also profit from metaversal attention. But as you will see in a couple of minutes, you, you don't really have to worry about that because we're going to have a lot of people using this platform. Um, yes, the ads are high resolution. They are 3D. They are... Um, they will be displayed mainly for people using the Bitfari native wallet, but they will also be visible online on a web browser um, with, with AR glasses, obviously, plus um, integrated wallets and apps. So if an ETH wallet integrates with Bitfari, they will see the ads. If a Solana wallet integrates with Bitfari, they will also see the, ad, the ads. Um, and the way that the, the motivation, the incentive um, via, via, via by these w wallets will integrate with us is that there's profit sharing. There's, there's some profit sharing with the wallets that are actually um, showing these ads and, and displaying them to, 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 the, to the users. So the way it works is really simple. Um, here we have our our wallet and then we have some some points and these points are like points of interest So here our user has match 
with with one ad which is being displayed on one of our billboards and it might be because he has some keywords that actually match with the ad so then they would use so we just click on the on the ad and, and, and they will see the the match so it's, it's so it's very simple it's very simple to see what information uh, interests you in the in the in the in, in your vicinity now this information could be multiple things it could be it could be uh, an information on a billboard it could be an information on a virtual billboard it could be a coupon a discount in in, in the area or 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 another thing that that, that is uh, stored in our in our ecosystem it could be a note it could be a flyer it could be a message that was distributed in in uh, in the in your vicinity but we filter it all for you so in that sense we are sort of like um, like a search engine uh, the difference with other ecosystems is that we pay you for your attention so if you actually match with with any of this stuff we we, we pay you for it um, let's go to a building because we minted buildings as well so when w you mint a building uh, and these are very interesting because these, these are Times Square buildings. So we minted many buildings and these buildings are 3D. They are fully 3D, but we also minted the billboards. So um, so the billboards are here. And this is a building that has, uh, believe it or not, 10 billboards. Because uh, it has like some multi-dimensional billboards, like billboards with multiple faces. So it has 10 billboards and you can uh, place an ad on, on any of them. Right? And if the user matches with one of them, they will see the building, they will see the billboard using their glasses or their AR interfaces. Um, people ask me, why would somebody use the glasses? Well, we are paying them to do so. And if you're a tourist and want to see uh, touristical information, the glasses might come in handy. If you're an immigrant and you want dynamic translations from English to Spanish, the, the glasses might come in handy as well. But obviously, that's, that's, that's a little bit of forward uh, thinking um, uh, most of this will be seen on a mobile phone today um, or, or it will be seen on a, on a computer screen but what we want to show is that it will be seen on a very on a highly um, attractive way right we're gonna show these ads in a very very attractive and, and forward-thinking fashion <coughs> we have also minted um, like huge AR spaces what we're going to do is that we're going to mint the, the AR space and then we're going to sell you the space as a geofence. So you can buy a building and if you buy the building, you get the billboards of the building and then you get um, miniature billboards inside so that you can target people inside. But if you buy an area, let's say you, you buy um, Times Square, then, then there is some profit sharing with the, with the people that bought the buildings because there's like some pollution there um but but if there's a separately a separate billboard that is not part of any building then you get that then you get that commission and i think we have a video of how this works so as you can see here's here's the the, the space so it's really it's really nice so it's really nice so it's just it's just um a metaverse based on reality it's just a 3d 3d animation of the space so if you match with an ad then you can quickly open up your app or open up your glasses and then you can see um, whatever information you match with now the model that we are employing has layers there are some research channels there's an official layer for the actual builds, uh, building or business owner, right? Uh, so they will use this um, um, channel to, to post their ads or the information. There's a .gov, .mil, .police, .fari, and .tel layers. Those are all reserved. So these are the reserved channels. These are the channels that you will own if you buy the NFT. The dot shops channel, tour, history, deals, food, loss, love, happy. Uh, there are more channels. There are about about 50 channels. There's a channel for kids. There are, there are many, many channels, and, and we can uh, go into details and explain each one of them. It is, it's a fairly, fairly big, um, fairly big system, right? So these are layers that you can pick and choose, and you can actually subscribe to multiple of these layers, 
and if you match with an ad in any of these layers it, it will be um it will be notified to you on your cell phone so you can just install the native wallet on your cell phone then you will match with the ad you get a notification you click on it and then you see the animation and i know i said ar but it's like a mix of ar and 3d animations and, and metaverse content but the point is that it's mostly based on the real world and it's just an ar layer on top of the real world um the 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 model the model of distribution of this platform is that anyone that places an ad will get some free land so if you are um I'm sorry excuse me i have like this terrible call but if you are placing an ad a mass you get free land and then you get the boards that and the board income that comes with those ads which is great um, then you can engage in land management activities which will limit spam obviously spam is limited because you have to pay to place an ad we get decentralized ownership better context no misinformation there are multiple scarcity models land is very scarce attention is very scarce channels are very scarce as you saw earlier Th so what this yields is a very um a, a system that filters for relevance that is very decentralized very resilient um uh, a, a, a the and uh, value a lot of value a lot of nfts that are scarce highly valuable commanding a lot of attention which is which is great we call them b boards we call these virtual boards b boards In instead of billboards v boards for short right we can also say virtual billboards and we call the collection of virtual billboards the digital land when you get the building or when you get the virtual billboard you can buy a virtual billboard for for less than than one dollars for pennies by the way the the way that the foundation is going to mint this is that we are going to mint the mint all of this like at cost at the lowest possible value um we have um sort of calculated baseline values so that if you buy the the nft you are going to make possibly significantly more than your investment but that's that's a decision that you have to make for yourself this is not financial advice um the split we have a we have an original split where we are giving 50 percent of the ad money to the operator, 30% for the user to pay for his attention, then 5% for the wallet operator, 5% for auditors, and so on. If the wallet operator eats Bitfari, then we will distribute that 5% uh, further down, down the line. And this is something that can change via DAO voting. But essentially, even though the user is getting 30 percent because they are being compensated by uh, their attention and that's the incentive for a user to install the native wallet and to use these ecosystems even though that is happening as a screen operator you are making a lot of money right you're making and, and this has like no maintenance whatsoever or very little maintenance i shall say it has some maintenance but it's really not intensive right you might get a notification in your phone saying um one of our one of our users has reported that they don't like this ad or that they find this ad offensive or whatnot or that this information is mis miscategorized or whatever uh, you will get that sort of notification so in terms of maintenance maintenance is really really low and this is something that can change via dao voting and this can change according to the area and to the country but initially the spirit of the platform is that the NFT holder will get, or the screen operator will get half of the, the, the money that comes in through, through ads. So we don't want to get that money. We want you to, to, get, that, to get that money. Um, so what is the positioning of um, Bitfari in, in now that we have um, disclosed or explained this um, 
um, this virtual LAN or digital LAN platform. So if you look at the competition or I would say comparable, comparable um, blockchains, you have on the outside BAT and AdShares, on the virtual LAN side, the central LAN sandbox, there's no single competitor that's, that is doing both. W we are mostly doing ads on both. Um, so we wanna go for real land and we wanna go for real ads. Ads that you see in the real world and land that you experience in the real world. Meaning that as a user, you are always in the Bitfari digital land. Just think about that. As a user, you're always, you're always um, in a place that is susceptible to be targeted by a Bitfari advertiser. Uh, and we think that is a highly, um, highly distinctive, it's a highly distinctive attribute of our, of our platform. Um, our ads are also a little bit more expensive than, than, than with these platforms because they are shown in big screens and they are shown with a better, um, better quality. Um, they are mostly Ethereum apps. Um, we are part of the Stacks ecosystem, so they release payments um, using ETH, mostly ETH or, or BAT. Um, we're gonna we plan to pay mostly using BTC stacks and Faris, which are which are harder, better currencies in my in my opinion. They are mostly pre mine. We are ten percent pre mine, ten percent airdrop, eighty percent mine. So we are mostly mine. They they are pre mine. Um, these chains are algorithmic for the most part, so they work automatically. We work automatically, but we have a DAO for special situations. Uh, we have auditors for new screens, new screen installations. Uh, we have auditors to re review ads. This gives us a lot of flexibility because we work closer, we operate closer to what Facebook and Google are doing, so we can um, better monitor the, the ads. In the case of BAT, they have people betting the ads, but they have very, very little publishers, like 400 publishers um, or four, 400 advertisers. They're getting a lot of publishers, but very few advertisers. With, with the auditor model, we can get an order of magnitude of, of advertisers um, th than they have. So we really like our model for that reason. Um, what they do is that they give you pocket money because you will be exposed to some ads a week you might get lucky with a with a with a set of land on the central land or sandbox or with token speculation and whatnot, you know, but that's just that's a different thing, that's a different game. With Bifari we want you to get exposed initially to ten to twenty ads a day. So if you're making a hundred dollars per month on BAT, we wanna make we wanna make sure you make um between a thousand to two thousand dollars per per month on, on Bifari, right? So it's a different, it's just a different value proposition. And let me just share some links. Um, you can check this at bifari.com. You can look at our devnet uh, and then our testnet, test.bifari.com. And yeah, we are going to follow this up with a presentation about mining. We are going to make sure clips with demos. So we're going to separate the demos and then make sure we share them because not everybody has half an hour to sit through a, uh, an entire presentation. But it's, it's, it's really going to be fun. In terms of dates, we are looking to start selling these NFTs next week. Um, we want to release um, the, the AR platform before, before the end of April. Um, we are going to start releasing as soon as, as today. So if you log into the platform today, you will see a lot of changes. If you log into the platform tomorrow, you will see even more changes. If you, uh, if you log into the platform next week, you will not going to believe yourselves. Bottom line, last week, Bitfari had 50,000 screens. Today, it has 25 million. Great, great news. All right, guys. Uh, thanks for your attention. And remember to always, always bring life to 
your locations.